We are officially here, 2022, Las Vegas, Nevada for MJ Biz. Boom, Las Vegas, can't wait to see the show. Let's go. There's nothing more that I like than new innovative tech. And I'm with a dear friend of mine, Jay from Twister Trimmer, AKA Kirtan. And he's got a really unique product, which I really like. Uh, I haven't seen anything like this in the market. You know, people do a whole bunch of different curing things, but this is actually a puck designed for curing, which is, is a pretty intelligent little product. Yeah. Tell me about it. Okay. So obviously curing is the last step of cannabis production. Most people will grow really nice flour yeah. and often ruin it in the last two weeks. Totally. Right? So there's a lot of bro science to it. And we're trying to take that bro science and turn it into real science. Beautiful. Yeah. So how does it work? So you fill the bin or barrel or tote, whatever you're using, half to three quarters full. The device will measure the gases inside. Mm -hmm. It'll measure the relative humidity inside. Yeah. And then as those gases rise, the relative humidity rises, it will pump the air out, the gases and that air out. Okay. And then as it does that, it will also send that data to an app and let you know what's happening. So for instance, if you load flour and it's too wet, yeah. It'll try and pump that moisture down. If they can't get it down, it'll alert you, hey, come come empty this out or open the lid up. And like you have to like air it out more. Yeah. Or you might load it in too dry and you cook your dry. Now you can't do anything, right? Yeah. You're, you're not curing now. So we're starting with what? 60% humidity flour? First, first, first I start with 63. Okay. So I'll load it at 63 and I'll bring it down to 60. Okay. So you can go above 63, but you're starting to risk microbials, like mold and stuff. So if you put it in at 65, it'll it can bring it down pretty quick. Um, but you're risking it. If you put it in here like 58, well, it's, it's for the most part, it's pretty dry by that time. Yeah. yeah. So this is actually a, another SOP, a standard operating procedure that actually gives the grower the tools to not fuck up the last two weeks. For sure. Yeah. I yeah. like it. Yeah. So if you put it on any tote, like this here, we have a, a, a roller, so you, you load it in craft barrels. Like this is my preference. Yeah. Because it's sealed. These don't seal, obviously, yeah. but it'll still push the air out. This will seal, and we have a, it'll roll it side to side, once, twice a day, whatever you want. I don't usually fluff this stuff up, so mine will come out like a big brick, like, like a wedding cake. Yeah. But some people like fluffing it, so that'll this will fluff it. I like this better. I like the ability to actually roll the product very, very lightly. Right. You're not damaging. You're not getting a whole That's bunch of turps off yep. uh, or trichomes yep. falling off the actual plant. But uh, it means battery powered, so if the power goes out, it'll still burp. So like, say a weekend comes around, your power goes out, it'll still burp over the weekend. Super cool. But you're gonna, How's the uh, response been? Uh, Huge. Yeah. 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 So uh, that's one of the things I really liked about Kirton is you guys are the innovators. You guys were the ones that really came up with, in my opinion, the best trimmers and the best uh, tech. You've even done it, something in respect to AI, being able to identify powdery mildews or microbials on the plant and actually you're removing sorting and grading. Sorting and grading, which is, you know, these are all very important tools that growers need to uh, assist in bringing better product to a uh, to level up really yeah. really is yeah. Yeah. so you got yeah. the last you got the last part of the uh, chain completed i like that oh. thank you i'm excited where can people find out more about the product twistertech.io okay yeah look for the curing puck on there super cool yeah